Hello everybody, this is Jack Askew from Teaching ESL Online and in this short video I'm going to introduce an application, a program that you can use to record audio for your learners or for your website. And this audio is called Audacity. Okay, And Audacity is really easy to use, it's free and you can use it both for your PC or your Mac. So there are a few recordings that you might want to make with Audacity. And the two main ways that I use it is for the audio that I use on my teaching website. So when I have some kind of audio on a blog post or in a grammar um, explanation, then I use Audacity to record that audio. And I also use it for personalized audio, okay, for my students. So when I send my students something that can help them with some of their common mistakes, I often send them audio. And I'll talk more about this in a, a future video. But just to give you an example, a, a very common mistake from some of my Spanish students is when they say, I have been in London. And I want them to say, I have been to London. And to get them to remember this, I record the audio for them. And also I, I leave a little space at the end so they can repeat it. So I'm going to show you what you can do here. So by just opening up, opening up Audacity and then pressing the record button, we can record some audio. So I'm going to record something now. I have been to London. Okay, and you'll notice that I left just, uh, a, just a little bit more space at the end so my students can actually repeat after this. So if they listen to a few audio recordings, they can listen and repeat, listen to the next one and repeat and etc. So that, that's basically how you record and you can see here how it, it records in this way. Now let's say my dog started barking at this stage here. I can simply select it and delete it. If I just want to export the audio only, okay, I can select this part and export this as well. And I'll show you how to do this now. So the Audacity files, when you save them, they save as Audacity files. But if you want to save them as MP3 files, we just go to File. And you can see down here we have two options, Export or Export Selection. So obviously Export Selection will export the, the part of the audio that you've selected. If you want to export everything, we just press export. We give it a name here. I usually just say um, exactly what I said in the audio. I have this file in here, audio for lessons and blog posts. The format, you can save it in different formats. The most popular one is MP3. Click save and then just you, just ignore this because you can put in the, the different um, you know fields for the artist name, track title, etc. Here, just press OK. And then that's exported that um, piece, piece of recording. Now, on the Mac, there are a couple of shortcuts that you can use. Um, and I'll leave them underneath the video. But they are they are Command and R will bring up a... Um, sorry, Command and N bring up a new file. Command and R should be... Oh, no, just R, sorry, is a new recording. And then you can press Spacebar as well to stop that. Um, so, use Audacity for any kind of audio and let me know how it goes when you start using this program. I'll have the links to the website for you below the video and let me know how you use it with your students. So, thanks for watching and see you next time.